What's up, Blue Chips? One trade today on XRX. Shit Show Tuesday is still in full effect, and I think it's to the point now where we may just call it on Tuesdays until my oldest is in school full time. This was a little bit horrendous. Uh, did not get a chance to really concentrate on the trade as I was in the trade. It ended up being a whippy, spready trade, stock, whatever you want to call it. I also did not have my um, video, my webcam on, as well as my microphone. Uh, I plugged it into a different USB port last night because I was messing around with my VR headset that I haven't used in forever. Couldn't really get it to work. Ended up getting it to work, but I didn't know that it affected uh, OBS as far as the way things were plugged in USB. So my mic wasn't even working. Uh, so I didn't have video either. I went back and listened to it. I was like, where's the audio? So yeah, it shit show Tuesday. It's, it's a thing. It's still a thing. Uh, thankfully we kind of came out break even on this sort of, uh, after commissions will be read, but anyways, uh, going to put some royalty free music in the background. And, uh, I put the full trade in here, uh, just sped it up in, uh, the areas that I had no action was really happening. So that way you can kind of see what was going on. Yeah. Enjoy.
All right, traders, that was my trade on XRX. A uh, bit of a doozy. Uh, I literally, I wish I had the webcam on because you would have seen me. I was literally like forcing my way out the door as we got this last flush. Uh, I really feel like the way that I played it, I wasn't too mad at myself, um, although the emotions really got to me. Uh, right here, was a little mad that I didn't just take the whole thing and be done with it. Uh, was a little mad that I didn't add here at the top. Was a little mad that I didn't cut here. Uh, I added and then added again with the intentions of if this wasn't a double top, that I was going to cut it. Uh, decided to keep going. Uh, so instead of cutting it, I was dealing with the kids all at the same time, and I decided to just say, screw it, I'm going to be smash this thing. Uh, so I smashed it, and we ended up covering pretty much most of our position here. Um, I think there was two, yeah, it was, I took 200 of the 250 shares because I was doing 50 lots. So we did 50, 50, took off 50, added 50, 50, 50, 50, and then we took off the majority of our position here to get back down to smaller share size, looking for this thing to just continue down to view app. It didn't. So we were like, okay, maybe this will be like a sloppy second site play, which it was. Uh, we just added a little bit early. And then we got the flush. And the moment that I saw that we could get out break even, I just took it. Of course, it was right at the whole dollar. Um, I was afraid that it was going to make this move uh, before breaking the whole dollar. So I just took it and I left because it was I was already a couple minutes behind and I just didn't feel like dealing with it anymore. I was just glad that it gave me the opportunity to get out uh, the way that it did. Um, and I didn't have to try to manage this from the road like I did last week. Uh, but as you can see, uh, maybe if on a normal day and we actually didn't like try to force our ads and stuff like that, if we would have just added, uh, scaled into this correctly. When we got this wash, we would have got paid um, because we would have been a little bit more patient. Or maybe we could have took half there to see if it was going to break 35. Take the risk back off of the trade, carry 50 shares. And when we get this break, that would have been a good 20, 30 bucks there just on 50 shares on that break. So very frustrating trade, very frustrating day. And I'm starting to think that Tuesdays might just be a day that we don't trade, um, at least not in the morning. Uh, if we come back and there's something that decides to go at lunchtime uh, or maybe the afternoon, we'll have the headphones on. And if the scanner wants to let us know something's going, uh, we can pay attention to it. But as you can see, not very happy with this trade. So uh, we're just going to go on to the next one. We're going to move on. Uh, that's all I can say. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. Always appreciate the support. If you have any questions or comments or banter, or if you want to yell at me for playing this the way that I did, you can. Uh, this was a very emotional play. Uh, it was me trying to just get out. It was me saying, add, add, please flush so I can get out of this thing and get the kids ready to go. Add, add, please flush so I can get out of this thing so we can get ready to go. But even when it gave me the opportunity just to get out, pretty much break even, it, still, it would have been a little bit of a red uh, trade at this point. Um, I still didn't do it. So I was just emotionally caught in this thing because I was still in the back of my head saying, I want this thing to hit VWAP. I want it to hit VWAP. I want it to hit VWAP. And then finally, when it gave me the opportunity again, it was stalling there. I said, no, I'm done. So, okay, I'm done. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.